Today we're starting our talk about inequalities, and inequality compares two expressions. The symbols that we use to compare these expressions are great, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to. Let's talk about each of them individually. Less than, okay, you see the words less than. If we say A is less than B, notice the position of A and B in relationship to the inequality symbol. We can also say fewer than or below, and that could be represented by a less than symbol. Greater than, greater than. A is greater than B. Again, notice the positions of A and B in regards to the inequality symbol. We could also say more than or above for the symbol greater than. Less than or equal to. Notice the only difference between this symbol and this symbol is the line underneath it that represents or equal to. Less than or equal to. A is less than or equal to B. Again, notice the relationship of A and B to the inequality. We could also say at most no more than to represent less than or equal to. Greater than or equal to. Again, note, compare this to greater than. The only difference is the line underneath that represents or equal to. A is greater than or equal to B. Again, notice the position of A and B in regard to the inequality. We could also say at least or no more than for the symbol greater than or equal to. Okay, let's look at some examples. So for a pause to pick up fallen board. Sorry about that, folks. Back here we go again. Okay. A solution of an inequality is any value that makes the inequality two, true. So if we say A is greater than 5, we know that 6 is greater than 5, 7, 5.2, 1 million. All those values are greater than 5. So to state the solution set of an inequality, we do so with a graph. And that shows that all the solutions on that graph make that inequality true. So let's start at the end point where the graph starts. The graph starts at 5, but is 5 included in the solution set? No, because A is greater than 5. So since 5 is not in the solution set, we start our graph with an open circle because that says 5 is not in the solution set, but 5.00001 is in the solution set, and every single number bigger than 5 is in the solution set. So we have an open circle as the endpoint, and then the graph goes to the right showing that everything greater than 5 is part of the solution set. Let's do that again. B is less than or equal to 3. So here is 3 part of the solution set. Well, 3 is less than or equal to 3. 4, is that part of the solution set? 4 is not less than or equal to 3, so we have to go the other direction. 0 is less than or equal to 3. Negative 429.257 is less than or equal to 3. So we start our graph at 3. This time, since b is less than or equal to 3, 3 is part of the solution set, so our endpoint has a solid circle, which indicates 3 is part of the solution set, and goes to the left, because every point less than or equal to 3 on the number line is a solution to that inequality. Let's try this again. M is less than 1 and a half. So again, M is less than, smaller than, fewer than, whatever you want to say. M is less than 1 and a half. So, 1 and a half is not part of the solution set because M is less than 1 and a half. So again, our endpoint is an open circle indicating our graph starts at 1 and a half, but 1 and a half is not included. And we go to the left on the graph or in the negative direction because every value less than one and a half on the graph is a solution to that inequality. 
pick a number. Negative one quarter. Negative one quarter is less than one and a half. Okay? One quarter is less than one and a half. You can play that game forever because there's an infinite number of solutions that satisfy that inequality. Let's do one more. T is greater than or equal to negative 2. Okay, so now we have greater than or equal to, which means negative 2 is part of our solution set. So we start at negative 2. We have a closed circle or a solid circle because 2 is part of the solution set because it's two, negative 2 is greater than or equal to negative 2. So we start at negative 2 and everything larger or bigger or in the positive direction from negative 2 are solutions to that inequality. We could go up to 2. 2 is greater than or equal to negative 2. 0 is greater than or equal to negative 2. So hopefully you can see how this goes and you can try some yourself. So let's do one more thing. Let's change some phrases to inequalities. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to take a phrase and we want to state it as an inequality. So the capacity of an elevator is a maximum of 3,000 pounds. That means there can be no more than 3,000 pounds on that elevator. And we would write that maximum or no more than is less than or equal to, so C, the capacity of the elevator, is less than or equal to 3,000. Okay, so that's the maximum number of pounds on that elevator. There are more than 10,000 books in the library. If B is the number of books in the library, B is greater than 10,000 because there's more than 10,000 books in the library. Let's do another. 14 more than a number is greater than or equal to 50. So greater than or equal to, we know that symbol. 14 more than means we're adding 14 to a number. N plus 14 is greater than or equal to 50. 14 more than a number is greater than or equal to 50. And one last example. A number decreased by 700 is less than 923. Well, less than, we know that symbol. Decrease means subtract. So a number decreased by 700, N minus 700 is less than 923.